our friend Sarah gonna draw a piggy bank. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a pencil and a marker. You also need... Some paper and some colors. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. <laughs> We're first using our pencil to draw the general shape of our piggy bank, which is a giant oval. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a big oval shape. I'm gonna go back over it to make it a little darker, but you could just draw it once, and you can also draw it lighter so that it's easier to erase. I'm pressing hard so that our friends can see it on the camera. There we go. Yeah, that looks really cool, Austin. Okay, now let's draw a circle up at the top, and I'm gonna draw it kind of big, and we're gonna overlap the oval that way, it looks like there's a coin going inside of our piggy bank. Now let's switch to our eraser and let's erase the bottom part of the circle. The part that's inside of the piggy bank. Look at that, it looks like the circle's going in. Yeah. That's all we're doing with our pencil, so we can put that off to the side and we're gonna use our marker next. Let's first draw the ears. I'm gonna draw an upside down V, and look, it goes outside of the oval shape. So go up, and I went straight up, and then curved down. We can also draw the nose. I'm gonna draw an oval shape that's just outside of the body of our pig, the big oval. Now, at the top of this oval, we're gonna draw a curve that connects to the pencil line, and then we're gonna trace the pencil line up to the ear. Then we can also add the other ear on the other side. I'm gonna draw another line up and then curve down. Oh, we could also draw the nostrils. I'm gonna draw two little lines right next to each other. <laughs> like how small your <laughs> nose is. Thank you. <laughs> Let's draw the mouth next. We're gonna draw, or the bottom of the nose. We're gonna start at the bottom of the oval, curve into the pencil line and then trace down And then let's draw the mouth. I'm gonna draw a smile. And look, the very end of the smile sticks out past the pencil line. And then we can also add a cute cheek on the end. Okay, now let's finish the mouth. We're gonna draw the bottom of the mouth curving back into the pencil. And then let's draw the first foot. We're gonna draw a line, a diagonal line coming down to the left. Then we'll draw the bottom of the foot curving. And then we'll draw another diagonal line going back into the body. Let's draw the other foot so it looks 3D. We'll just draw a part of it though. Draw a line that matches the first one and then we'll curve in. There we go. That was pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> now let's draw the rest of the belly. We're gonna start on the pencil line and curve back and then stop. Then let's draw the back legs. We're gonna draw another diagonal line and let's draw it so it comes down and matches kind of with the front. Then we'll draw a curve for the bottom of the foot and then connect back up to the body. <laughs> let's draw the other foot and we're just drawing part of it. We'll draw a line down and then curve in. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there we go. Now let's draw the top of our pig or piggy bank. We're gonna start at the ear and we're gonna curve past the money and we're gonna curve down. Then let's finish the rest of the pig, curving down and connecting to the back of the leg. Then let's draw the piggy tail. I'm gonna draw a curve coming down. And then let's draw another curve going this way, curving up. and then draw a little curve or point coming back in. Oh, what did we forget? The eyes. Yeah, we forgot the eyes. Let's just draw one since it's the side of our little piggy bank. Draw a circle. You can also draw a smaller circle inside for the highlight and, and color. color in the big circle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's draw the coin. We're almost done. Let's trace over the pencil line. And we could also make the coin look more 3D. Let's start at the top 
And I'm going to draw another curve that kind of matches. Look at that. Now it looks like the coin is turned sideways. And then we can also put texture lines going across the side of the coin. We did it, Austin. We finished drawing our piggy bank. Yeah. It looks really cool, except... We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. Oh, before we color, let's use our pencil, the eraser on our pencil, to erase all of the pencil lines or the guidelines that you can still see. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Dad, you did a great job on your drawing. <laughs> Thanks. You did a great job too, Austin. And I love that you added the dollar sign. We also added a little black rectangle at the top for the slot where you put the money in. You can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. Yeah, we used our biannual markers and the color that we used is R502, if you have the same set. Yep. That's the pink color that we used for the pig. And then the money color we used was CG03. Three. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a big bank. <laughs> yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.